Hey artists, for your first watercolor technique practice, you are going to practice making something called a flat wash that looks like something like this, where the color is even all the way through. We don't see a lot of streaks. The value doesn't change. It's kind of just a flat color all the way through. So to get set up, first you'll want to have your board slightly elevated. As you can see, I have a binder underneath my board so that it's at a slight angle sitting up. You'll want that gravity to help push the color down as we go. So that's why you have that elevated. So you can stick something underneath your board or you can raise your table if you have the space to do that. And then second, we wanna set up our palette. So I have all of my colors right here. Remember with watercolor paint, it's totally okay for it to dry. And then I'm using this as my palette to mix different colors. So I'm combining some red and blue to kind of make a magenta purple color. My cup of water and um, my medium flat brush. So I just drag some of the color down and add it on up here. For the flat wash, you wanna have more than enough color to fill that whole shape. So that means lots of water, lots of color, because if you need to mix a new color midway through, it might not end up looking the same, which will not create a flat look overall. So make sure to mix a pretty good puddle size. All right, so I have my color mixed, hopefully that's enough. And I'm going to do a flat wash for this triangle shape down here. Okay. So make sure that you have a clean brush. Since I dipped this brush directly in paint, there might be some little specks of the paint in there. And then if I were to paint on my paper, it would make some big streaks. So I'm going to take my clean water, rinse my brush out, and let's get going. So in my puddle, I'm gonna fill my brush and start with a stroke right along the top of my shape. Gonna add a lot of water because I'm just gonna be bringing it all down. So notice, because I have my table elevated, I get this bead of color at the bottom. That's how the gravity is pulling the watercolor paint downwards, which is what you want, so that the color above it is all totally flat and even. If my board was just flat on the table, those puddles would kind of happen randomly, which would make it harder to do a flat wash. So now I can keep dipping my color in the same mixture that I have, and I'm gonna take my brush right below that bead to keep the water moving downwards. I wanna work relatively quickly so the paint isn't drying at all in between, so it won't leave any streaks. And again, just remember having enough paint and enough water is important for this part to look even. As you paint, you'll notice when the paper is wet like this, some of the color is sticking in the fibers. As it dries though, that changes um, and it should dry more flat like you see above. So we'll see how this looks when it's dry. I'm gonna, if you notice any darker areas, you could dry your brush off and just soak up any extra puddles if it, there's, it kind of stuck next to the tape in some of my areas. So you can always soak up some color that way, but otherwise it looks like it's pretty flat. So we'll see how it dries and looks later.